So at first, you might be thinking this is just an algebra question because it says, given that 3x to the fourth power minus 4m x to the third power plus 1 is equal to 0 has no real roots. We are going to find out what m is. It sounds totally just like an algebra question because let's try to maybe solve it, but notice this is a quartic equation plus it's not in a nice form. Suppose this was x to the second power, maybe you can just do something with algebra. But here we actually have to use some calculus. Okay, let's think about it. Here's the idea. If you call this to be our function, f of x, keep that in mind, then think about the graph of it. For fourth power and the coefficient right here is positive, we know that it's going to be opening upward in general, right? So the graph of it, it's going to be something like this, maybe. And it depends on the m value, it could be going up or down. And also, of course, this is plus 1 already, so we know this right here is going to be at 1. Okay? Hmm, okay. How are we going to make sure this has no real roots, though? Well, we just have to make sure that the curve does not go down too much and cross the x-axis. And that idea is, notice here, we have the minimum. So we will have to do some calculus to find out the minimum. So here we go. I'm going to call that to be our function, f of x, which is 3x to the fourth power minus 4mx cubed plus 1. And once again, because the coefficient here is positive, in general, it's going to be an opening up, maybe right here. I don't know what will happen, right? Because we have this term. Imagine if m is equal to 0, it will just be a nice, like a, like a more flat u on the bottom. But anyway, so this is our function f. That's our function. I want to make sure the minimum does not go below the x-axis. So let's go ahead and find the derivative f prime of x. The derivative of that is 12x to the third power. And right here, remember it is a constant. Differentiate this, put the 3 to the front, minus 12m x squared plus 1, doesn't matter. Okay, so that's our derivative. As usual, we are going to set this equal to 0 because we want to find out where the tangent line is equal to 0 for some critical numbers. Right here, we can first factor out 12x squared. Okay, and then we get just x right here left. Minus 12 is out, x squared is out. We have the m here equal to 0. From here, we can see that if x is equal to 0, we will have our minimum. Well, sorry, we will have a critical number. So I'll just denote that critical number at x equal to 0 or when x is equal to m. These are the two possibilities. But here's the idea. When x is equal to 0, you can see that we are going to be at 1 already. Plus, my picture is actually wrong because it should be more flat. It should be something like this. And then at this, it should be the minimum, m. But I don't know what m is. It could be positive or it could be negative. I don't know. But it's just a picture. Yeah. So we don't have to consider this because right here, I'll just say f of 0. Plugging 0 into all this x, we get 1. So we have no worries. But if we plug in m into the function, we will have to make sure the y value is above the x-axis. So we need f of m, which is 3m to the fourth power minus 4m. And then this is m cubed plus 1. We need this to be greater than 0. And we just have to solve for this inequality. This is 3m to the fourth, and this is minus 4m to the fourth. So all in all, this is minus m to the fourth plus 1 is greater than 0. And then, depending on how you want to solve it, you can move this to the other side. Negative m to the fourth is greater than negative 1, and divide both sides by negative 1. So m to the fourth is less than positive 1. And then take the fourth rule on both sides. But this implies that m is in between of negative 1 and 1. The quick way to see is to look at the graph for m to the fourth power. So this right here, right, let me just show you. 
imagine you have the m to the fourth power it will look like this slightly more flat than the x square like this is y equals m to the fourth power and then we want to be less than one so the intersections it's in between of negative one and one and this is the m axis right so this right here is the answer yeah pretty cool huh?